Well, it finally happened. I lost billions of isk in a single gank. Now I've cataloged all the things that I did wrong and right during this fight. So if you want to learn all the ways to protect your investments and learn from my mistakes in the process, now you've come to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even joyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is the gank. It was about 10 people, including the group of NPCs that were locking us down. We lost about 2 billion isk when all was said and done. And this was during the summer event where the mobs would lock you down and scram you. And I was in J space. While I was ratting this, a Stero jumped on grid and locked me down further. He was a little tough to kill, but I was able to take him out. While I was taking him out, his buddy showed up and started taking pot shots at me. I was aligning out to the wormhole that got me into this area, and once I outranged the group with my overheated afterburner, I warped out. Unfortunately, I was warping into a trap. They had an interdictor waiting on the wormhole for me. The bubble caught me. I was able to take out the dictor, but their team showed up and took me out. Oh, they got my pod too. Oh, seven, good fight, the whole thing. Now, this was super tough because I made some obvious mistakes. Let's talk about it. First thing I'll talk to you about is I got overconfident, and I did not set a safe point. If you're unsure how to set a safe point for yourself, the easiest way to do it is to warp to some planet, warp to it within whatever distance you want, and while you're mid-warp, you're going to press Control b this is going to open up a new location. And if you notice that as I was pressing enter, it was setting new spots in between location A and location B. If you do this in between warp points, it means that people have to scan you down with combat probes in order to warp on grip with you. I did not do this before I started ratting, so I didn't have any place to go. This is the biggest mistake I made, and if I had done this one thing, I might have gotten out alive. Second thing I did wrong was I didn't scout the wormhole that I came in on. This is really stupid because I have alts, I have alts that I can cloak. There's no reason for me not to just set up something on the wormhole and just watch it. The third thing was I wasn't de-scanning enough. We have a full de-scan guide if you don't know what that is. This is the directional scanner. This is such a pivotal thing that you need to be using, especially if you're in dangerous areas. And I just wasn't thinking about it. The next thing was I was not in my combat fit. I was in my scanning fit. We're gonna have a full fit guide for wormhole day trip proteas coming up, so sub for that. If you watch the recent live streams, you know that I bring with me different subsystems to be able to swap out into an armor-focused proteus, one that has way more effective HP. I was not in this fit though. I was in my scanning fit, the base fit that I walk around in. This has a covert ops cloak and better relic and data hacking instead of better HP. If I was in my combat fit, I might have been able to survive. The next thing I did wrong was I started to panic. If I was recording that time, let me tell you, it would have been really, really bad. I was going over this. I was clicking stuff. I wasn't sure where to go. I was de-scanning. I'm clicking on this. I needed to take a deep breath, chill out a sec, get my drones on something and keep on trucking. If this ever happens to you, the first thing you should think is... Take a deep breath. Next thing I did wrong was I aligned to the wormhole out. This was an obvious trap that I should have seen coming. Now we are gonna talk about how to properly align in the next section. But you also have to think, where are my opponents expecting me to go? Try not to do those things, especially when you have a big gang like this. At the end of the day, I warped right into their trap. Now, before we talk about the rest, I do have something special for y'all. Now I am an Eve partner, which means we get skins to give away to you from the Eve devs. And if you wanna win those skins, you have to do three things. You have to be subscribed to the channel. The bot's gonna know if you're not subbed. You have to go into the comment section and type Bling my ship, Loru. And you have to put your in-game name so I can know who to send the contract to. If you do those three things, you'll be entered to win this giveaway. We recently gave a bunch of skins away on our live streams. We do those every couple weeks and we really make a show of it. And we recently passed 6,100 subscribes. Y'all, the community keeps going and y'all are doing so well. This really is one of the most positive sections of EVE that I've ever seen. So with all that said, I just want to say thank you. Lyra, can we send the Discord link to the people so that they can join the core community? Transmitting links to the description below. Well, there you go. I'll see you there soon. All right, some more things that y'all can learn from. I didn't manage my targets correctly, and we're gonna go back to the Z Killboard post for this. You're gonna see that the mobs ended up doing 43% of the damage here. When this fleet warped on top of me, they really didn't do that much damage comparatively to this ship right here. And I remember thinking back to this, there were so many mobs on top of me. If I had taken those out, instead of trying to focus solely on the gankers, maybe I would have stayed alive. Sometimes when you're getting ganked, the best move is not to necessarily take out the gankers. Remember to think about where you are and the kind of site you're in and try to stay on your toes. The next thing I should have done is maybe I should have stayed on the site. With this said, if I hadn't warped out to the interdictor, I wouldn't have had another ship to deal with. I was already outranging them. The mobs on the site were attacking some of these guys, so they could have helped me to take out the rest of this gang. Now, maybe that's just wishful thinking, but next time this kind of thing happens, I'm gonna try to think about that. A big blunder I didn't do is have keybinds for overheating my modules. Now, if you don't know, you can overheat your modules to get more stats out of them for a limited time, roughly speaking. And because I was right-clicking stuff, overloading, right-clicking, un-overload, uh, it was just really, really bad. Now, you can change your keybinds by pressing 
pressing escape, going to shortcuts, going to modules, and then going down to toggle overload on a specific slot. You can either do the entire rack or do specific slots. I'm going to be rebinding these ahead of our upcoming Faction Warfare stream. Make sure you come out for that. Uh, the final thing I did wrong, and this was really bad, I had the wrong pod in. Again, I was just too cocky and I had my plus five implants in. This was another billion isk lost. Now I have a pod that's specific to my Proteus that makes sure all the stats are really pushed to the max. So if I was in that, I might've been able to take some of them more out, survive a little more, who knows? And really that's the kind of point to all this and why I wanted to make this video for y'all. All these little things do add up in EVE. This is one of my favorite things about this game. If you make sure to maximize all these little bits and tricks, all of a sudden you have a much better ship. Now let's talk about the stuff I did right. Now I did use my consumables at the proper time. We made sure to have our log and boosters going. I activated that before we started the actual site itself, but we do carry two consumables with us no matter where we're going. This first one is an agency hard shell. This one is going to increase your armor rep and your shield boosting amount. Now this is the small one, so it's only 3%, but if you get even bigger and badder ones, it makes it so you have just three healing coming in every single rep. We activated that at the very start of the fight. Then when I was getting a bit low, we activated the standard exile booster. This is a bit of a heavy one. It's a last ditch effort pill. It reduces your overall HP, but it gives you a 20% armor repair bonus. This is one of those Hail Marys. We popped this the moment we started hitting hull and getting into trouble. And that's kind of how you have to think about this. We were already hitting hull, so we just needed something to heal us right now. Now I did remember to align out to something. It's worth saying more and more times because if I had made bookmarks like this, let's say the wormhole was here and the site was here and I made a bookmark right here. If I aligned to the save point that's on the way to the wormhole, the ganky party is going to think that I'm actually going to warp to the wormhole. So where do you think they're going to warp to? A wormhole. Meanwhile, I'm safe at the save point, cloaking up covert ops ready to go. I would have survived in this one point alone. Next thing is we did overheat our armor reps at the proper time. When I overheat my armor reps, I go to 185 HP per second, to 251 HP per second. And again, this is without the boosters. So managing this, managing the heat, making sure that your other modules don't break, that's super important. This is a little known fact about overheating your modules. When you overheat your modules, they overheat the modules adjacent to it in your fit. This means that if you overheat your hero module and it's on the corner like this, this one also takes heat damage. The ones on the cap both do. These modules here do not. So if you play around with your fit placement, you can also guarantee that less modules get affected by your overheating. This kind of blew my mind when I found out about it. I always wonder why when I put my armored rep modules right next to each other and overheated them, they just broke super fast. So make sure you space them out. Now we are dipping our toes into PvP and faction warfare in the upcoming streams. We would love to see y'all there. Sub right here to not miss out on those. We've got a ton of EVE online guides for you right here. Find your favorite ship and make sure you learn something along the way. Thanks again for 60 100 and we'll see you in the next one.